Good day, everybody. How are you all? I hope you are doing great today. So today we will graph an inequality. It says graph x minus 3y greater than 3. So move this a little bit up. Okay, so we can, re uh, let's rewrite this x minus 3y greater than 3. We want to separate x from y. So we will add 3y on both sides. Then it becomes x minus 3y and plus 3y cancel. x greater than 3y plus three on the right. And then I want to keep y by itself. So I will subtract three on both sides. So on the left side of the inequality, we have x minus three greater than three y. Now I want to divide by three, which is the coefficient of y on both sides. So I have one third x minus three divided by three is one greater than y. Or if I move y to the left hand side and move the term one third x minus one from the left side of the inequality to the right side, the inequality will flip direction. So y will be less than one third x minus one. So notice uh, if you compare with y equal to mx plus b, the coefficient of x on the right hand side, m, which is the slope, the slope, okay? So this is the slope. Is rise over run is equal to one third. So if thus if run is equal to three units, rise is one unit. And the B is the intercept is equal to minus one. So the Y axis intercept 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 is zero minus one. Okay. And now Let's uh, create some space. Let's do this a bit. And maybe move this up a little bit. So now we are going to plot or graph the line y equal to one third x minus one. Okay. So let me move it farther up, okay? So let me draw x-axis and a y-axis. So, it's your x-axis and your y-axis. It's in the y axis somewhere over here. Okay, we already know the y axis intercept is zero minus one. So if this is the or zero, zero, this is minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, and so forth, minus five, minus six minus seven, okay? Similarly, on the vertical axis, you have one, 
two, three, four, five, six, and so forth. Okay, on the horizontal axis, you can have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we will start with the y-axis intercept, which is zero minus one. Please do not leave right away. Please watch this video until the end where I'll give you some important tip. And please subscribe to my channel, Math Science Topia, and check out the playlist Algebra Problems where I've solved tons of algebra problems just for you. So please stay with me until the end of this presentation when I will give you an important tip. So the first point we want to point plot is zero minus one, which is the intercept. So zero minus one. Maybe I should change the color of the in zero minus one is this one. Okay. Next, I realize my slope is one third. Or if my run is three unit, rise is one unit. That being the case, I move horizontally three units and my run is, my rise is one unit. So my run is one, two, and three. And my rise is one. This is the other point, okay? Similarly, if I go another three units on the right, my rise will be one. Now we want to be less than, so let's uh, connect these three points by a dotted line, okay? Nothing fancy, just a dotted line. Which region are we really interested in? So we want to actually graph y less than one third x minus one. So it can be either below or up, up, okay? So let's take a point, let's select a point. Such as two minus two, which is below the line. How do you know so? Look at the point two minus two, two and minus two is somewhere over here, which is below the line, okay? And plug it in. So we uh, will try with the, we will, uh, for y we can write minus two, minus two less than one third x is two minus one. Okay, so minus two less than, this is two over three minus one, which we can write as three over three, one is three over three. So minus two less than two minus three is actually three minus two with a negative sign for coming from the larger three minus one third. This is true. Okay, so the left hand, uh, left hand side, left hand side, left hand side is less than right hand side because minus two is much less than minus one third, less than right hand side. Okay, let's select another point. Okay, so if I move up, Let's select a point. Uh, so let's select a point. Select two, two, which is 
above the line. So why? Because two, two will be over here. Okay. So what do we get? Y. Is it true? Y less than one third X minus one. Is it true in this case? Is it true? That was a question we wanted to answer. So you plug in y value of 2, 1 third, x is 2, and minus 1. So 2 less than 2 third for 1, we will write 3 third. So 2 less than 1 third, not true. Okay, so if I create some space, so we are interested, thus y less than, if I look at this, less than one third x minus one is the region below the line, below the line. What does that mean if I go to the picture? Oops, sorry. First I erase this. So I'm interested in the region below the line. So I'm interested in this region below the line. Okay, not above. So let me draw that view. So if I write Uh, I have already written this, so maybe I should highlight that. So if I move this a little bit up and highlight this. So y less than one third x minus one is the region below the line. Below the line, I should clarify that below the line y equal to one third x minus one. So again, that is the solution to the problem. I'll stop here today. If you have any question or comment, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. The important tip I wanted to give you is to write the equation if you saw what I did. I wrote the equation, given equation in terms of y equal to mx plus b. I wrote the inequality and then wrote it in the form y equal to mx plus b. The coefficient of x is the slope, which is rise over run. In this case, it is one third. That means if your run is changing the x-axis, x, -axis, x Change in the horizontal direction is three units. Rise going up is only one. Three units on the horizontal axis, one unit on the vertical axis. That's your slope. And your intercept is zero minus one. So you start from that and start from that point, y-axis intercept like I did, sorry. And then you move forward. So you start with zero minus one, then you move three units horizontally and one unit up. Then again, you move three units horizontally and one unit up and connect those three points. That is the line. Question is, which region are you interested in? So you select a point in the region below the line and a point above the line. And you find out that the point above the line does not satisfy the relationship y less than one third x minus one. 
Hence, the region we are interested in is the region below the dashed line y equal to one third x minus one. Okay, I'll stop here today. Any question, comment, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. If you like this video, share with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. My In my channel, Math Science Topia, I've solved all kinds of algebra problem in my playlist, Algebra Problems. So please subscribe to my channel, Math Science Topia, and check out the playlist, Algebra Problems. There you will find all kinds of algebra problem solved just for you. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day. See you next time. And do not forget to visit me tomorrow when I'll be back with another algebra problem solved just for you. Bye-bye.